Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now proceed, sir, with our presentation. Thank you, sir. Please all rise, ladies and gentlemen, and we'd like to call Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director of the PMP Chaplain Service, to deliver the invocation. With pure and clean hearts, let us bow our heads and be aware of God's loving presence. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your generosity and kindness and ask you to bless each one of us as we gather today along with our chief PNP, the PNP Press Corps, and friends from the media. May we all experience the sacred manifestation of the Holy Spirit to bestow us the grace for responsible journalism and fair news coverage. And may all the information we reveal may be inspired by your divine will. In a very special way, we beg you, dear Lord, to deliver the entire PNP organization and its leadership from all forms of dangers, sickness, and harms more so to our beloved Chief PNP and the Chief PNP of your people, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Ilyasar. May your blessings and ever-saving grace inspire us to commit our days in the service to your people. Finally, we ask you, Lord God, to deliver us from all dangers and harms, especially the uncertainties of the fast-infecting variants of the COVID-19 pandemic. All this we ask and pray in your most mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this statement of the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eljazar. Maraming salamat, uh, John. Uh, magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Una-una uh, sa ating uh, members of the media na dito ngayon, this being our press con or press briefing. So I would like to acknowledge some of the senior officers that have joined me. We have the Director of uh, Police Committee Relations, uh, Police Major General Rodel Sermonia. We have our the Director for Logistics, Police Major General Rito Casimiro. Then uh, andyan din yung ating Director ng Pikaji. Police Brigadier General Eric Noble at kasama ang kanyang mga person na andyan. Uh, I invited also representative from the Information Technology and Management Service. Uh, well, I know that uh, our friends from the media, uh, those joining us here in this uh, multipurpose center and those joining online have, uh, of course, so many questions on the current issues of the day or the past week. But uh, on the first part of this uh, press briefing, uh, gusto ko munang muli nating masaksihan yung ating nilons uh, for today which is itong ating isang sistema na kung saan yun ay aking binahagi sa aking uh, assumption speech that we will be launching this improved complaint referral and monitoring system uh, well, kaya na talaga natin improve kasi existing na naman talaga yung ating mga reporting system in fact all of the commanders, not only the chief PNPs before, eh, naghahangad na magkaroon ng communication between the public and the police. It all started maybe years back or decades back na ang the means of communication was only by telephone na landline pa. Kaya nga, di ba, sinasabi natin sa lahat ng residente na dapat kung saan ka nakatira, alam mo dapat yung telephone number noong police doon sa area nyo. Pero ngayon kasi, dahil meron tayong cellphone at kahit tayo yung nasa ana, so ngayon, pwede ka ngayon na kontakin kahit saan. And eventually, from cellphone, lumabas na ngayon itong ating email address na ating, uh, uh, ating pinagkapasihan na ng Miss Communication, pati yung Facebook na. And during this pandemic, ito yung narealize natin talaga napakahalaga 
nitong technology na nagamit na natin. Most of us were not high-tech. In fact, hindi naman din ako high-tech. Pero ngayon, alam na natin yung Zoom. And just like early this morning, during our flag raising ceremony, just like the previous flag raising ceremony, I was able to talk to all my commanders in the ground. Regional directors, 17 regional directors, and then uh, uh, five district directors, the 81 city directors, city police officers, and then Patima provincial directors, and as well as the thousands of chiefs of police and station commanders with this advent and technology. Kaya nga, yung, ang sinasabi natin ngayon is that uh, lahat ng mga commander natin, unit natin, may kanya-kanya sila na reporting system. Itong ilolons natin, hindi natin po tatanggalin yung mga yun. Hayaan natin sila na andun pa kasi for all you know, effective naman siya at sana hinay ating mga kabayan na doon sila nagre-report. Pero din sa atin, the office of the GPNP through, uh, uh, well, through the PKG, meron tayong naka-establish na sistema. Meron tayong hotline and uh, email address as well as uh, Facebook account. Yun din ang gagamitin natin. But, incorporated ngayon, itong uh, uh, complaint, referral and monitoring information system na dinevelop ng ating information technology management service ng PNP. At nakita natin doon ngayon yung mga features na mas makakatulong para mas effective natin na ma-screen itong mga report sa atin at the same time, maibato natin doon sa mga unit na concern while giving immediate feedback to the reportees and then monitoring para maibigay sa kanila. That is the, the purpose. And uh, uh, sinasabi nga natin na uh, sa ngayon, it's all in the cyberspace. Whether you, you are complaining against somebody doon sa malayong lugar sa, for example, sa pinakadulo ng Luzon, at ang report mo is uh, concerned din sa area mo doon, isend nyo sa amin dito, at yung system naman natin, ibabalik sa inyo, ibibigay doon sa police station na yon, and then mamonito natin, at ibabalik din namin sa inyo. Meaning to say, we are giving additional, uh, well, option for our people na gamitin itong sistema na ito. And if you find that this is effective and efficient as just like what we envisioned to be, eh, yun po yung makakatulong sa atin. Well, kaya nga po sa atin, we try to improve our system and this is one means of uh, uh, doing that. So, uh, gusto ko muna na, na ipakita yung uh, itong AVP na ito for your appreciation as well as the public. And then from there, uh, we can have uh, probably demo or question and answer regarding that before we go to your other concerns. Okay, please uh, uh, roll VTR. Base sa personal experience ko, meron ko kumag-anak na meron sa akin refer na kaso. Nasa kaso naman. And then, alam mo ang kanyang feedback sa akin, buti na lang meron akong kamag-anak na general. So, paano na kung halimbawa ang isang common tao magbibigay ng reklamo at hindi ma-actionan? So, ang gagawin natin, lahat ng reklamo nyo as if dumaan sa akin at nirefer sa ating police station. Isa sa mga binibigyan priority ng ating kapulisan ay yung mga sumbong complaints o hinaing ng ating komunidad. So sa sistemang ito o sa proyektong ito, meron tayong dalawang klaseng sistema na gagamitin. The first system are those systems wherein the community can reach to the police. Ito po yung text hotline natin, ito naman yung mga Facebook reporting system natin o yung email system natin. Ang part 2 naman ito ay ito naman yung communication or information system para kami sa PNPI. Mabilis namin ma-forward yung mga sumbong at hinain nyo doon sa police station o police office na siya yung dapat gagawa ng action nito. At kung sakali ito ay na-assess natin at nakita natin ito ay isang valid concern, valid report from the community, then i-input natin to sa system at i-forward natin to doon sa responsible police office. At that instant po, ang system ay magte-text naman ulit sa inyo. Sasabihin niya na natanggap na namin ang iyong report at ang report po ninyo ay mayroong reference number. At sasabihin niya rin po sa inyo na itong report ay na-forward na sa concern office. Ito po ay automated din po ito. Ibig sabihin system generated din po ito. When we first launched this system, through email lang yung pag 
pag-communicate natin ng mga report ng community. Pero nakikita natin that marami pong nagsusumbong. So nakita natin that the email system can no longer accommodate the reports efficiently. That's why we decided to already computerize it. In this way, mas marami tayong ma-accommodate na report, mas lalong mas mabilis yung mga action taken natin, at malalong ma-analyze natin, ma-assess kung yung action taken ba ng isang police station sa report ay sumusun, ayon ba siya doon sa ating police standard? At pwede ba natin siyang i-consider na talagang fully complied? At hindi lang yung meron lang ginawa. Sa sistema na ito, kulang po yung action taken lang. Dito po sa atin ay kailangan yung action taken would be fully complied, fully satisfied our clients na kayo po yun. And through this referral and monitoring, sisuguruduhin natin na lahat ito a-actionan. As if yung kanilang sumbong, e eh, dumaan sa akin. Your complaint directed to any police station is as good as your complaint referred directly to me. Isumbong. Sumbong mo, action ko. Only the best for the Filipinos. Thank you. Uh, ang isang feature kasi na nakita namin dito, uh, di ba ngayon meron tayong PNP CODA, yung PNP COVID data na naging effective. And uh, nakita ko doon na ako nga dating ASCOT Commander. So yung ITMS na uh, nag-develop nito, pag meron kaming gustong ipadagdag or baguhin o para ma-improve, madaling gawin kasi andyan yung programmers natin. So we will adjust accordingly dun sa pangailangan ng sistema. And then aside from sinabi ko nga at uh, na-explain kanina ni Colonel Mark von Cardas, yung uh, ginawa kong in charge sa ITMS under the supervision of the uh, General uh, Dan Mayoni ng, uh, ng ITMS, eh, yung mga commanders involved. For example, ang complaint is about uh, a police or even any concern in this particular police station, the chief of police, the provincial director, and the regional director can monitor. Pwede niyang i-monitor yun, at pwede siyang maglagay doon ng mga input niya uh, as instruction. The same manner, on my level, makikita ko rin pati mga stat or other analytics na pwede makatulong sa atin sa decision making. At pati na rin yung ating command group and director staff. Meaning to say, well, while it is true that this is a work in progress, but we envision uh, sistemang mag improve para mas lalong mapalapit sa atin ang ating mga kubayan. We know for a fact that uh, uh, meron naman kasi dyan na mga reports, well, na, na hindi valid or magulo. Kaya nga, ang una sistema natin, sa PKG, meron ng existing dyan na complaint, reporting, monitoring, uh, com uh, complaint referral monitoring center parang call center agents na naandyan ang nagbabantay. So, pag nareceive niya two text message or email or Facebook, una, i-screen muna nila. Eh, hindi na kasi parang robot siya na maa-assess mo lahat, di ba? So, yung mga valid ngayon, yun ngayon ang encode sa system. At yun na ang magiging, magkakaroon agad ng reference number yun, na parang uh, ibabalik sa iyo na ito ang reference number na, na, pwede, mong, uh, na pwede mong siyang uh, uh, gamitin. Uh, on the same uh, manner, yun naman, ibabatunan kayo sa police station concern o kung sinong unit para siya ma-actionan. Yung may reference number, do sa portal natin, which will be activated by DICT in the next few days, uh, lalabas na doon. I mean, pwede mo na i-check yung update noong complaint na pinala mo doon. Uh, Pinakamaganda siguro, mag-sample tayo. Pwede bang, pwede bang i-flash natin dito yung, uh, yung live natin since uh, nung starting kanina? kung merong uh, nagpasok uh, na. Can we call uh, Colonel Fon Cardas? Mark Fon Cardas? Uh, Pakitanggal mo na lang itong face shield. Good morning, ma'am, sir. Uh, the CRMIS actually has several accounts depending on the responsibility or authority of the user na katapat din yung account. So habang po sila ay, pwede ba natin itry yung isang account, yung SPD, for example? Can we try? Why, why inaayos po nila, ma'am? You can try to text because part of my discussion would relate to the experience that you will have now that while you will be texting po ay uh, magre-reply na po yung system. So, pwede po yung flash natin dyan yung so, pakita yung... Uh, habang nag-flash po sila, uh, meron po tayo dalawang sistema po dito sa Isumbong. The first system is the communication from the community to the police. Yan na po yung susubukan nyo ngayon by texting. 
The next communication is the communication amongst different PNP offices. Because this report from you has to be validated. So yun, nakita ko natin ngayon, po, uh, yun po, uh, yan po yung live na tinex po kanina. So that one po ay, ang kinocomplain po dyan yung, po, so sample po. So para mas ma-explain po maigi, yan po yung nakikita ng different lower units. The next slide po, yun naman yung makikita po ng office ng chief PNP. So we will focus our discussion po doon sa, sa, sa account ng office ni chief PNP. Sa office po ni Chief PNP, makikita niya po yung mga raw information o yung text na hindi pa na-validate. So, makita niyo po, yan po, uh, yung, yung bago lang po, siguro kayo po nag-text ngayon. So, ito po yung mga SMS na masasabi natin raw that we have an officer called PKG. They are going to call and evaluate this. Upon evaluating that this is a valid report, i -re repair na po ito sa... Concern office. Can you show me the slide wherein it will list down those reports which PKG considered as a valid one and already forwarded to the different lower units? Yan po, ito po, kanina po yun nung nag-announce po natin during the flag raising, yung iba po ay nagsumbong na po. Pwede po ba yung, yung sabi natin, yung pangalawa po, yung details ng pangalawa, please. Yung details ng pangalawa. So, yan po yung sumbong, no po? Ang uh, sinusumbong po, okay, check nyo yung, po, doon. So, ang sinusumbong po, Makati and Tagig, doon po. Pagka ang sinusumbong po ay yung, yung police mismo sa station, pinuforward po natin ito sa mismong higher unit niya. So kapag sinusumbong po yung chief of police, kapag sinusumbong ay PNP officer or PNP office, re-report po yan sa district director. So makita po natin yung sumbong doon. Also, nandyan din po displayed yung, yung cellphone number po ng district director. Kasi ang system po, pagka pinapasok yung report sa, sa ating CRMIS, yung online system, automatic kinocall niya, tinetext niya yung district director or yung concern office. Para alam po automatic yung concern officer na there is a report forwarded to him. I'm sure some of you who tested it was able to get an auto-reply, ma'am. Sir, no po? The same auto-reply, not, not try nyo po mag-text po. Opo. I, opo. Sino po naka-text po na may nakaroon po auto-reply po? Ang challenge lang po dito sa loob, sir, mahina ang globe signal dito po sa loob. So... In, in a while po, matatanggap nyo po yun. No po. Mahina lang po talaga ang, ang signal po dito. Pa parang uh, ang sinasabi kasi dito is uh, pag, nag, pag nagpadala kayo doon, initially, meron tayong mga... Si ma'am? Me meron tayong mga personnel doon. Yes, sir. Na sa simula, is i-screen niya. Yes, sir. Yes, kung sir. valid or hindi. And yes, then, sir. kung sa tingin niya, valid or by semblance ng... Uh, Pagiging legitimate, yun ang i-encode natin system. Tama ba? Tama, sir. That's right, po. Kasi hindi, hindi ano eh. Maring iba doon naman, mga promotion lang. Di ba? Iba naman, nagpapasalamat. Yung iba naman eh, talaga nang babash lang. Eh, paano mo natin papasok doon sa system na yun? Pero at least, ang, uh, ang dito kasi is, mas efficient siya, mas madali ma-monitor. And eventually, pwede mo i-backtrack natin. And uh, actually, ito ngayon, this is uh, connected with PAIS, yung ating personal accounting information system. So that, Kung halimbawa ang concern is about police personnel, kahit last name lang, pwedeng ibangga mo na doon para marami kung sino siya. And uh, we can use this for, for backtracking. Well, sample lang kasi police, pero nagkataon lang pang kalahatan ito. But the concern of this is necessary not against the police. Pero isama pa rin natin siya. Pero yung mga common concern ng ating mga kubayan. So kung dati meron tayong uh, uh, in place na, na referral system, eto ngayon, eh, gusto natin is mapaganda siya. And earlier nga, nabanggit ko nga kanina na hindi natin tinatanggal yung mga existing na mga hotlines ng iba't iba nating mga units kasi eh, comfortable na kayo dun eh. Pero ito, ito nga yun gusto natin i-disseminate and itry nila. Kasi eventually, kung ma-find out nila na this is effective and efficient, eh di, baka dito na sila pupunta. Kasi sa atin naman, where, nasa, kung natin, nasaan ka man, cyberspace lang may pag-text mo. Kahit nasaan ka, yung concern mo, mabilis na mamomonitor. And uh, we are ready for that just in case na lumipat sa atin lahat. 
uh, ito makumplete na ito eventually. Pero sa ngayon, wala tayong babaguhin. Hindi namin tinatanggal yung mga uh, uh, complaint uh, referral system na existing ngayon. Whether napakasimple nila. Eh ako noon nung nasa QCPD, pati doon sa Region 4, ANCRPO, gumawa ako ng ganito. Pero simple lang. Minumonitor lang namin, may sumasagot. Pero wala talaga yung gantong sistema na pagmonitor sa kanila. At existing yung mga yun. So, uh, well, that is, uh, uh, ang sa atin is wala tayong tatanggalin, wala muna babaguhin, pero i-improve lang natin yung lahat ng nire-report uh, through the Office of the Chief PNP. Yung iba, ma'am, mayroon na po nakatanggap, si ma'am. Ma mayroon na po, ma'am. So, kay, sa, pagka sa labas po, ma'am, reply po agad yan. Ang challenge lang po yung signal po mismo dito sa, ano po, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so, so, so sa atin kasi dito, ah, uh, ah, uh, So yun nakita natin mga sample kanina kasi nung uh, during the flag racing ceremony I introduced the number. Can we show the numbers ba? Yes Do, sir. Do we have yes, the na para mapakita natin itong mga numbers na yung dapat i-share natin. Landing page. Pwede yung landing page nandun ang numbers. Yeah, on the launching of this, we disseminated to all our units uh, for these numbers, email address as well as the Facebook account to be known to the public para nasa kanila ngayon kung ito ay i-avail nila. Uh, well, I need your help on this. Ito sinasabi natin, eh, ambitious uh, effort na naman ito, na, pero at least, eh, we're attempting to improve our system. And uh, as we go along, uh, ito talaga napakahalaga para magamit natin. Alam mo kasi natin na ang peace and order is the main responsibility of the PNP. However, it needs the involvement of the public. And for us to get the involvement of the public, na andun dapat yung matibay na pandisyon yung pundasyon ng tiwala ng ating mga kabayan. Kaya yun ang ating uh, palaging hihinga sa kanila na uh, well with your with your trust and your cooperation and your involvement uh, matutugon na namin yung inyong mga concern to the best that we can. Of course, there will be some challenges. Hindi naman perfect yung sistema but we are trying our best to improve the system at mamonitor natin itong mga informasyon na kailangan nyo. Then we really have to evolve and upgrade from time to time. Di ba sinabi nga natin, nagsimula tayo noon sa mga landline lang. Pero because of the advent of technology, eh kailangan na mag-adjust din ang PNP. At, uh, at uh, we, we really, we recognize the effort of uh, PKG as well as the ITMS uh, para matutukan ito. It's so happy naman na when I monitored that the system, system is being developed, pinastract natin ito para umabot dito sa ating uh, uh, ginagawang uh, Uh, mas matinding, well, focus program on uh, uh, anti-criminality effort and uh, uh, internal cleansing. We can use this uh, during the launching of our QR code system uh, next week uh, in the recruitment process. Kasi through this one, uh, we will ask or we will join the applicants na pag merong silang nakikitang uh, irregularities or possibly yung ibang uh, uh, mag-a-attempt kung meron man na The, through the Padrino system could be reported to this so that uh, we could uh, act accordingly. So, uh, okay na tayo doon? Yes, sir. So, so, so uh, I believe that... Uh, sir, sir uh, ipakita din natin, sir, that our system, sir, has analytics. Oh, sige, we, pwede. We will show it oh. in the screen. Can you please show the screen that our system has analytics that will be readily be accessible by the PNP leadership for decision-making? Sir, yung mga sinusumbong pala, sir, na PNP officer dito, sir, ay connected, sir, sa ating uh, PAIS system, sir, para automatic, sir, na kukuha natin, sir, yung details nila, okay, sir. please explain that, Mark. Okay, sir. Sa so, nila. we provide several analytics. These are just sample, no po. So, dito po, makikita natin how many complaints we have received, no po. Makita nyo po doon. Total number of complaint. Eh, kanina lang po nag-reply, nag nag-start tayo mag-text, so wala pa po tayo. Makikita din po natin yung total number of uncomplied. While the chief PNP has a view of all the report nationwide, the different regional director will also have a view for those reports concerning his office. So every leader, every chief of office will have an access to information concerning them. So yan po, how many PNP personnel were complained? Uh, mayroon pong isa. No po, how many? Do we also have graphs that can he easily help? Uh, as analyzed information. So, marami po mga analytics that is displayed in several format, in a form of pie, in a form of graph, that can easily be accessible by all the commanders of the PNP Philippine National Police. Yes. Uh, uh, parang ipinakita natin, di ba? 
14 yung receive nating complaint. Pakibalik doon. 14 yung na-receive nating uh, uh, complaint. And then, uh, well, wala pang complied, wala pang uncomplied. Pero ibig sabihin, ongoing pa. Pinoprocess pa siya. And then, out of the 14 complaints, isa doon, merong isang ang concern niya, or probably, nire-reklamo niya, is asang PNP officer. Can you click? Which yes, is, a, which is a police commission officer. Yes, sir. So, yun. Uh, yes, sir. And then, sir, pwedeng ma-check agad dyan, di ba? Yes, sir. Sa files natin. And eventually, we can backtrack kung how many times siya nire-reklamo. Well, it is true na, na ito naman, of course, it needs validation, pero napakaganda na we have this information. At kagaya sinabi nga ni Lieutenant Colonel Mark von Cardas, concerned supervisors or commanders can have access on this. Kaya napakaganda eh. And ako ngayon, pero kung pwede kong i-scan yan. And then tingnan ko ngayon, yung isang specific unit na interesado ko, and using my issued cell phone. Kasi all of the commanders in the ground has issued a uh, cell phone. Eh, dial ko lang dito ngayon, di ba? For example, sa bahay, tagkawayan. So si OP, tawag ko ngayon, yung cell phone niya, pagsagot, makikita niya, chip PNP tumatawag. And then I can, I can follow up kung gusto ko man. Di ba? So, alam you know, sa simula, kung alam na lahat na nakatutok tayo dyan, eh talagang on their toes. And eventually, masanay sila na ganun dapat talaga ang trabaho natin. So sa simula, kailangan supervision. Effective supervision for that matter. Pero pag nasanay sila doon, yun na ang magiging kalakaran ng ating servisyo para sa ating mga kababayan. Ano pa ibang sir, feature niyan? Sir, ang isang feature, sir. Can you please display yung report tungkol sa CIDG? Uh, isang feature dito, sir, is all the commander, including yourself, you can put electronic HWS right directly to the report to provide guidance, sir, on how the report can be considered as compliant. Yes, ibig sabihin... Example po. Oh, sige, sige. I-explain mo. Ito po, sir, uh, yung uh, kinocomplain niya yung CIDG ng, uh, ng Sambosur ata. So, pinorward, sir, ang report, sir, ng PKG, sir, sa CIDG lang. So, gumawa kami ng sample, sir, using your account. We also advise them to forward said report also to the Sambosur PPO. Mm -hmm. So, okay. ibig sabihin, pwede ko mag-check, pero magbigay ako ng instruction na mawabasa kayo ng system, pati na rin ng concerned unit commander. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 So, well, uh, ito kasi, for others, maybe the same mga system could be uh, sinasabing simple lang, pero sa amin kasi, eh, wala kami dating ganito eh. So, anything that is an improvement to our system for the betterment of our service to the people, yun ang gusto namin mangyari. So, sir, okay yung isa po dito, sir, dati kasi, sir, basta meron lang silang action, okay na, sir. Dito, sir, hindi. We analyze, sir, the action taken provided by the different police station. If we feel that they have complied based on the PNP standard operating procedure, kung kompleto na, sir, at feel natin satisfied na yung kliyente, sir, saka lang natin, sir, i-mark yun as closed. Yes. Yes, sir. So, And syempre, eh, ito talaga may intervention pa rin, hindi naman robot, di ba? Kaya nga, ini-screen dun eh. At sila, alam nila ngayon, uh, may aging kasi dun. Sa mga ikakategorize yung compliance ngayon, kung mga immediately or actionable, yung iba naman, kaya ng case build-up, may corresponding uh, uh, aging or time frame na dapat makumply nila. So, uh, ito, this will aid us in monitoring. And, just like what I've said to our chiefs of police or unit commanders in our you know, Monday flag raising ceremony, as if um, I was talking to them directly, the call to action is that for them to address or to act on any concerns raised or given to us by, by, the, by the public. Dahil, kagaya na bangit ko kanina, gusto natin baguhin yung uh, iniisip lang lahat na kung wala kang kakilalang senior officer, eh, walang pupuntahan yung complaint mo. So, lahat ng mga ito, initially, kaya sinabi ko nga, sumbong mo, action ko, as if all of these things ay eh, dumaan sa akin, kasi mamamonitor ko rin sa lalga. Kaya yung unit commanders in the ground should see to it uh, na this will be acted upon reasonably. Kasi syempre, di ba, may mga kanya-kanyang case yan. But, Uh, definitely, it will help us to improve, it will help us to monitor the compliance, and uh, uh, we are just uh, enjoining or appealing to the public na gamitin natin ito sa tamang paraan. Huwag aabusuhin, huwag ang padala ng mga hindi kailangan naman para hindi naman mabubugin system natin sa mga hindi kailangan informasyon. I-reserve natin yon, ipaubaya natin dun sa mga kababayan natin na may mga legitimate and valid concerns uh, Uh, through our police, now we can act on it.
immediately. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. so that is uh, basically our complaint referral and monitoring information system na hindi ito ginawa ng basta IT officer lang ng isang opisina pero ito ay ginawa ng ITMS natin and uh, uh, it could be proved based on the situation, based on the feedback and based on our assessment. So I need your cooperation, support and uh, involvement for this to be successful at ito naman ay ibabalik sa ating mga uh, kababayan. So uh, that's about, uh, that is all about the isumbong action, isumbong or sumbong mo action ko, which we will monitor as one of the avenues that could help us in, in our programs. Uh, whether it all, it, it, it is about the cleanliness in the in the offices or in the ranks or in the community. So I can now, we, we, yes, let's proceed. Yes, sir. Magandang uh, umaga ulit sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo dito sa Multipurpose Center, Camp Carmel Quezon City. At syempre sa ating mga kaibigan sa media na nasa cyberspace, na nakikilahok at uh, nakikisa sa press conference na ito. Sa ating uh, question and answer, Maunang banggitin ang pangalan at media network at saka ang inyong katanungan. Sa unang magtatanong, with the permission of the CPNP, aking tatawagin si Third Ann Malonso ng Third, uh, Sunstar. Good morning, sir. Sir, regarding po dun sa uh, isumbong, so magmamano-mano pa rin, sir, pagdating dun sa pagbavalidate ng mga report? Yes, sir. Uh, mano oh, ganun pa rin kasi... Hindi man ma ma-determine ng ating system kung ano yung mga classic complaint. In fact, uh, yung ating mga dati naman yon, meron tayong existing na sa ating complaint monitor, uh, complaint referral monitoring uh, center natin na magpo-process niyan. So, actually, pwede nga kung kung hindi malinaw yon, pwedeng mag-engage na tawagan eh or makipag-text further. So, only those we consider as uh, valid or legit, legit na hindi sila mga hoax yun lang yung ipapasok natin sa system with that corresponding format. And ipapasok naman kahit yung mismo detalye nung text nila. Okay. Having said that, sir, how do we um, consider a valid report? And ilan po yung mga designated na tao na mag-validate dun sa system, dun sa mga report? Can we... Uh, yes, uh, yeah, please. Sir, right now, sir, we have six per ship. So, meron po tayong tatlo. So, uh, at the same time po, six po lahat yun. Of course, the different offices nationwide po, they all already have that in place. We actually did not change uh, the, the structure. What we just did, we introduced a system. Before, we just email to the concerned office the report received by the center. Right now, don't need to email. We just type it into the system. The system will text the texter, inform, automatically inform the chief of office, and when they like it, it's already there. So here at Krame, we have six, and we are evaluating the the text we received. It seems na medyo marami po. After this, we will have a conference to evaluate whether we how we are going to add more capability to the center here. How about, sir, kapag yung report, kasi nakalagay dito, pwede rin Facebook, email, yes, web portal, ganun pa rin ba yung process? Paano yung process, sir, pag doon naman? And pag may mga kasamang videos, yes, photos? Yes, ma'am. Thank you po, ma'am. So, we have, we have incorporated all the types of reporting mechanism that the PNP has. We have email, Facebook, we even introduced Google Form. We are coming up with a, with a mobile app. All of this will be integrated into the system. Nagiging iba lang po kung yung parameter kung paano na natin natanggap. We have, we have a person monitoring the Facebook. We have a person monitoring the email hotline that we have. We have a person monitoring all these reporting platforms. The moment they monitor, they will in, encode it into the system and one of the check list that they're gonna answer is source of report. Whether is it through text. Ang isa lang pong integrated totally sa system natin is ang ating SMS yung smart natin, it is directly to the system. No need to copy, paste, and add. Yes, para naman, sir, yung para natin may ensure yung security naman nung nagsumbong. Yes. Na... Uh, kaya nga, uh, most of them kasi, hindi man nila sinasabi yung pangalan nila. Pero, kung uh, sasabihin nila, we will ask them kung gusto ba nila na 
uh, magpakilala. Kasi may, may mga case kasi dito na we will refer to them to the police concern if they want. Kasi alibawa, lalo na kung kinakailangan ng further detail. So, initially sa atin lang. But we can connect them doon na sa, sa, sa baba eventually. Pero yung sinasabi mo nga, most of them kasi hindi man nagsasabi ng pangalan, ayaw nila eh. Ay, so be it. Meron iba nagsasabi, pero tarungin natin kung okay lang ba na eh, pati yung pangalan mo is uh, malaman doon sa, sa atin sa ground. So all of these things are uh, being considered. Gusto ko lang din dagdag na this monitoring kasi is designed actually not only for the reports that pass through me. In fact, ang ating pong PKG or ating PNP, we have so many referral of complaints coming from other agencies like yung uh, sa civil service, yung 8888, for example, di ba? Sa presidential uh, uh, action na center, for example. Or yung ibang nirefer sa atin iba't ibang agency na concerning na peace and order, binabato sa amin. So pwede namin isama yan dyan for purposes of monitoring. And we can identify kung ano ang source ng mga info na yun na nirefer sa atin. Well, of course, uh, since nirefer sa atin yung ibang agency, what we do, papasok system, pero may qualifier, or alam namin, nirefer din sa amin yun. Ipapato namin, papasok system, we will follow up, monitor yung compliance, at pag may report na yun, so ibabalik namin ngayon yun, yung result or action taken or any update to the agency that uh, referred uh, those concerned to us. So, may, may I add, ma'am? Pagka po tayo nakatanggap ng report, we call the person we communicate. We ask him, is it okay that we forward your detail to the concerned police station? Pagka sinabi niya po okay, of course, yung detail niya nandun. Pagka sinabi niya po, hindi po sir, kaya kami nagsusumbong sa inyo. Ang sinusumbong namin, sila po mismo, ayaw namin malaman na kami nagsumbong. Ang makakarating lang po sa kanila, yung mismong report lang po. Yung details, his cell phone number, his uh, name will not be included into the system. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, may standard time na pag-aralan na ba kung sa isang report, gaano katagal yung span ng... Well, well sa ngayon, ngayon pala tayo nag-start eh, di ba? So eventually, we will... We will uh, uh, we will see kung ano ba ito yung, uh, yung, yung time na inaalat dyan. Kaya nga sinabi nga ni Colonel Von Cardas na depende sa volume na mag a nito, mag a tayo ng personnel. Kung doon sa mga period na hindi masyado, eh, kahit ko konti lang. Pero doon sa period na tingin natin marami, lagi tayo may standby doon. So, ma-check ma natin. But definitely, this is uh, improvement of what, uh, what we had, which are usually uh, manual lang. Can we plus to the kahit dito ba, o sa screen natin kung, kung pwede, itong uh, mga hotlines na uh, gagamitin natin, pati na rin yung uh, email address and uh, Facebook account. Uh, well, this, this, sa araw na ito, we have given uh, uh, this information to all the, the police stations. So, they will have their own uh, uh, tarpaulin or other uh, info materials uh, for them to disseminate this to the, to the public. So, and uh, just like what I've said earlier, uh, the, the involvement of the public is uh, very much uh, needed for us to be successful in this uh, uh, system. Thank you, sir. Sir, pwede mag-other matters? Or... Uh, uh, bago tayo punta sa other matters, do you have any other questions? Yes, so, so we can uh, proceed with the other matters. Okay na tayo? Okay, yes. Uh, Salamat. Uh, uh, yes, uh, ang, uh, may, may question? Yeah. Si, para yeah. dito muna, yeah, para yeah, pag-usapan Pwede naman, sige, sige. Oh, yes, please. Tungkol sa uh, isumbong. Uh, regarding this matter, before isumbong. we go to okay. other matters, dito muna tayo sa isumbong. Okay. Yes, uh, Maris. Hi, sir. Good morning. Maris Umali po, GMA. Uh, sir, we saw that uh, your technology is already in place, but will there be a need for... Uh, an upgrade in technology if uh, more complaints will be uh, received by the, the police? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, 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 it's a work in progress. And our programmers uh, through the ITMS is nakanda sila sa mga adjustment na gagawin. In fact, yung mga potentials nito ay hindi pa nakalatag lahat. Maybe Colonel Ford Cardas could uh, elaborate on that. Yes, sir. sir, yesterday, uh, during the last weekend, Saturday, Sunday, we asked several PNP personnel to test the system. 
Last night, sir, we were able to notice that there are 28,000 access to the system done, sir, by, by our PNP personnel who joined in the stress test. The system did, did not affect so much. So we are, we are thinking, sir, that the system can accommodate, but worst scenario, sir, we will have the need. Since the system is cloud-based, it is just easy to upgrade the, the server, sir, for, to accommodate the voluminous reports, ma'am. Can I just ask for a clarification on who exactly have access to the complaints that are being received? There are two kinds of information that we're using. The first information, the information from the community to us, ito po ay hindi online. No? Kala yung SMS po, kayo lang po nakakalam nung po. The information that we are going to encode into this online system, CRIMIS, will only be accessed by the responsible person. Before, while, while we were using the, e the email system, several other users or individuals will have to have access to that email system because that is the official medium. With this one, this is dedicated. Only authorized users can access and we are able to know who logs in, who logs out, who updates for purpose of monitoring uh, who modifies or who access the information. So, and then, apart from you, the PNP chief, yes. Yes. Kasama, uh, we can uh, all be, well, as far as I'm, uh, I know, you mga concerned unit commanders and supervisor within that jurisdiction that's right, can sir. monitor. Like, for example, ang concern natin is a police station. So, yung kanyang, uh, uh, yung kanyang provincial director and the regional director can have access. Yes, Para sir. makita niya yung uh, to monitor the, the update on that, kung ano yung mga compliance, as well as pwede siya magbigay nga ng mga other instructions. Kaya nga, sir, so how exactly will you ensure that the person who is being complained will not have access or That's makikita right, rin ba niya ah, yung yes, uh, complaint na yun. For example, kasi there would be times na ang pwedeng i-complain or i-reklamo ay yung chief of police. Pwede rin sigurong uh, police station commander. Pero pwede rin sigurong umabot sa level na pwedeng district director ang irereklamo. Of course, these are speculative. But what I'm asking is how do you ensure that the person... Uh, who is being complained uh, will not have access to that complaint para walang mga whitewash or anything. Una, or una, 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 may ganun sige. po ba? Unang-una una, kasi itong mga kinukomplain natin, uh, ang informasyon na binibigyan natin dyan dun sa, sa supervisor niya. And eventually, ang complaint kasi siyempre, eh, karapatan din ang kinukomplain eventually, talagang malalaman at malalaman niya. Uh, oh yes, oh, lalo kung ano. Except for ang ating uh, complaint is about may, may pending supposed to be na pending in traffic operation, then that it would be handled uh, uh, differently. So in other words, yan. sir, uh, hindi necessarily kailangang hindi alam nung taong kinocomplain. Oh, yes. Whether, oh. whether it is them that, uh, who is being complained, it, it is okay for them to actually mm -hmm. see the complaint and there will be no whitewash happening along the way. Oh, yes, definitely. Kasi in any investigation, uh, kahit pa ang... Uh, ang respondent or kinocomplain kami or kayo, at the end of the day, you have your, uh, may mayroon ka pa rin nga right para dependence, i-depend sa sarili mo. But yung nga sinasabi natin, depending on the situation, yung access dun kasi, kung nakita natin, ta, uh, sa tingin natin nung mag access dito, is uh, ang operation dito si traffic operation. Eh syempre, hindi dapat malalaman ng iba yan. So that will be handled di di differently. But for other cases, hindi naman ito ang kinocomplain police eh. Kagaya kanina, out of the 14, meron kong place sa police, but the 13, other concerns, di ba? And both of them, eh, ito yung mga concern na, ayun, nag-iipon-ipon na naman doon, walang, walang, walang face mask, ayan, yun ang mabilis na action na nabubutahan natin. So, huwag natin ito ha, this system actually is not just for the PNP. It so happened, now we are taking advantage of the system para magamit din namin, kaya binabangga namin sa paais eh. And yung ating uh, internal affairs service, will have access on this para ma-check niya. O oh, ito po ito, ilang beso na complain dito. But just the same, it needs validation or evaluation. Pero at least, meron tayong uh, database na de pwede natin pagkuhaan ng mga informasyon that could be used by the, uh, by the management for policy making. Sir, Another last thing. two on this matter. Um, we've seen uh, cases before wherein if there are hotlines, uh, a lot of uh, complaints or, or mga sumbong that are being uh, uh, addressed to these hotlines are 
hoax. So, madalas ay uh, malaking oras ang nagugugol dun sa mga uh, kasinungalingan or panloloko. So, will this uh, need additional people or how will you weed off right away these uh, hoax uh, calls or complaints? Yes, kaya nga i-screen natin. Complaints? Sa mga experience sa mga nandyan na, eh alam na nila yung may temang naluloko, hindi. In fact, baka nga meron mga blacklisted na mga number na eh. So, alam na nila yun. Kaya nga, kasabay nito, ang ating panawagan sa ating mga kubayan, huwag na kayong makisali sa panggugulo na yun. Nung sa NCRPO, no, nung nilabas namin itong uh, uh, ating ismot, di ba? Na yung ating uh, uh, itong system na yun, eh mas marami yung mga hawk. Merong iba naman din doon, nagkapasalamat, ayos lang din yun. Pero iba naman, eh may mga promotion ng kanila mga negosyo na pinapadala doon. So, well, hindi maalis yun. Kaya nga, nananawagan tayo, pero outright, eh, hindi natin ikukonsider na siya. Sasalain natin siya. At uh, kung kinakailangan na magdagdag na tao, tayo, depende sa maging experience natin for the first few days, eh di mag-a-adjust tayo doon. Sir, one last, uh, on this matter. Um... If, for example, hindi unified, kasi we've seen na uh, nandyan pa rin yung lahat, yung mga walk-in complaint, rectang connect, i-report kay chief, 888, etc. Uh, how will you be able to um, hasten or expedite the, the action being done na ipinagmamalaki natin using the system, kung iba-iba rin naman din po yung dadaanan ng mga ibang complaints ng mga tao. Ito kasi yan. Ayaw naman kasi natin na nilunch natin to tapos lahat kayo dito na mag-report. Yung mga hotline dyan, wala na lahat yun. Hindi ganun. Kasi sabi nga sa iyo, for all you know, effective naman yun eh. Pero kasi meron akong dumadaan kasi sa akin and this is supposed to be under the office of the GPNP. Ito palalakasin ko and then kung sa tingin nila, mas maganda ito, eh, eventually, baka lilipat sila dito. It, it, so, mag adjust naman tayo ngayon. Yung sinabi nyo naman ngayon, ito mga rectang connect, ito kasi yung doon nila pinapadaan. Pero, pwede pa rin kasi na ito, na isama natin dyan. So, linawi natin yun. And in fact, just like I said earlier, there are some referrals coming from other agencies that needs to be acted upon by the police. Kaya, i-refer namin, i-refer nila sa atin, ipapasok natin dyan. Ang bottom line kasi dito is, uh, kung wala ito kasi, well, of course, we have our own way of uh, referring this and then uh, getting the update. Pero kasi iso, ito mas pinadali at mas pinaganda. Alam mo sa atin, kung sa trabaho mo, kung alam na monitor ka, uh, you're being monitored, uh, you're being rated for that matter, eh talag you're supervised, eh syempre, mas iba magiging reaksyon nun. At kami naman, dito sa taas, iba pa natin, kumbaga parang malinis na. Pag binaba naman sa atin yan, eh chances are, malapit sa katotohanan na talagang mga, mga legitimate concern yan. But probably, after investigation, eh makikita pa rin natin kung talagang ano ang basihan nun or kung ano talaga ang, uh, ang nature noong mga reports na yun. So, what I'm trying to say here is that definitely, in our case, it's an improvement in everything that uh, uh, lahat ng kapaganda para makakuha tayo uh, ng, ng, ng tulong or ng... Uh, kooperasyon natin ating makabayan para ma-resolve yung concern nila, pati na rin makatulog sa ating peace and order, yun ang ating gagawin. At tinauna ko na, it's a work in progress. And uh, well, the progress of which depends on the involvement, depends on your comment, and depends on your cooperation. Okay. Do you have a time frame to see if uh, this, this system is really working? Uh, hindi naman po sa we are doubting, of course. Uh, bilang kayong leader, uh, of course, you would also want to see improvements in the system. So, kayo, personally po ba, do you have a time frame to, to for yourself, yes. to really see if uh, the complaint system or the referral system has been improved significantly using this system? Well, po ba kayong time yes, frame well, we can always... Uh, review and uh, evaluate on a regular basis. Uh, it could be done weekly or monthly para makita natin ngayon kung, uh, yung, kung gaya, yung volume of the complaints, legitimate complaints and reports that we are receiving. So makita natin doon kung paano tayo makakapag-adapt at kung ano rin ba yung resulta nito doon sa satisfaction or we can say 
uh, how to address the problems that is uh, being uh, uh, raised to us. Yes, Sir, uh, yeah, uh, Mark. We, we have analytics, Madam, no? for us to be able to gauge uh, how are we performing. Be, beyond that, we already have a schedule with uh, PKG because I'm representing the IT team. We already have initially a weekly assessment on the technical needed enhancement on and on the non-technical needed enhancement. That would be for PKG. And if we will be okay, then on the next period, it will be monthly and then quarterly. So there will be a continuous assessment, not just on the technical side, but on the non-technical side. That, is, that means to say how the police are responding and etc. And again, we have the analytics to gauge our performance. You kasi maganda yung analytics, di ba? Na automatic na, na degenerate na siya. Uh, whether gusto mong kunin sa isang area lang o sa buong Pilipinas, so ito mga ito. And uh, yun naman ang na-realize natin. Ang maganda kasi dito, wala na itong dagdag na gastos pa sa PNP. Kasi ang mga gumawa nito, yung mga magagaling na taga ITMS nating mga programmer. So, di pa hindi na outsource pa, nababayaran ng malaking pondo. Kaya alam naman natin ang system, eh, napakalaking pondo niyan, and then nakadepende na tayo sa kanila. In this case, eh kami mismo, sa tulong nyo, sa input nyo, we could always modify the system uh, para maka-adjust dun sa ating pangailangan. So, uh, all of us are hoping, I hope, na lahat tayo ay magtutulungan para mapaganda ito. Dahil bottom line, pag ito naging successful, eh para sa ayon nyo rin to, para sa ating lahat. So tulungan nyo po kami sa ating mga kababayan. Kailangan po namin ang inyong tuloy at kooperasyon. Huwag na po kayo makikuno dito na magpapadala hindi naman kailangan. Uh, anyway, makikita rin namin namin yung uh, um, iba mga blacklist ng mga number na. But just is saying, let's give this a try for the betterment. Definitely, ikagaganda ito. Hindi ito pa trust, ito ay pasulong. So, any other question from uh, uh, any members of the media? Yes, Alfred? Oh, pwede ba? Ay, diretso ko na. Oh, eh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, ano ko na? Para diretso na. Apo, sir. Oh, okay, unless you say sa mo. Kasi, Apo. before we go to other topics, mas maganda na ito lang. Isumbong, sir. Isumbong. Uh, morning, sir. Sir, uh, this is a 24-hour system. Am I right? Yes, 24-hour system. Uh, Question ko lang, sir. Uh, under the normal, uh, new normal, ang karamihan ng pro concerns is yung violation ng quarantine rules, like yung drinking in public, yung sa mga kapitbahay, nagbibidjoke. Uh, pag ito ang kinomplain dyan sa system na yan, what sanctions... Medyo pakilapit nga at pakilaksan, Alfred. Yan. Sir, uh, kung sakaling mag-complain ng isang kapitbahay sa violation ng quarantine rules, like drinking in public, yung mga nagbibidjoke sa kapitbahay, what sanctions await na concerned commanders who will fail to immediately act? Kasi actionable na agad yung complaint na yon kung makarating dito sa system na to at yes. ma-forward sa kanila, sir. Na, napakaganda ang question. Para sinasabi niya na since sa pandemic tayo, parang walang pinikaiba ito nasa COVID shield tayo ngayon. Naglagay tayo ng mga hotline, Facebook account, na naging, naging means sa atin para makapag-react agad tayo. Napakaganda ng resulta. So sa atin ngayon, uh, ganun din ang gagawin natin, pero makakatulong sa Joint Task Force COVID shield. Kasi pag pinadala dito, doon na, diretso na sa police station para mabilis na ma-actionan. Monitored pa ni Commander. Uh, ang tanong ngayon, issue ka nila compliance. That's another thing. So we can evaluate the performance based on those information. Alam mo, marami nang talagang mga action tayo na pagdating doon tapos na, wala na. But we can conduct follow-up investigation. Pero napakaganda nito. Kasi yung mga report na nangyari anywhere in the Philippines, kung, dan, kung dito pinadala, we can always check na may mga reports sa ganito. And for the Joint Task Force COVID Shield, Commander and uh, their staff, and including me, we can monitor. And ulitin ko lang, ibabalik ko sa iyo, as to their action, depende sa ating, uh, depende sa kanilang ma ma makikita nating action sa kanila. And uh, the, uh, yung chief of police, the district director in this case, and the regional director, as well as can monitor. And uh, they can do appropriate action on this. Kagaya ng binabalik ko ulit, sa lahat ng commander natin, pag alam nila na tinututukan sila, mas gumagaling yan o sumisipag. Uh, well, acceptedly, ganun talaga ang situation. Pag walang pumapansin, pwedeng tuyuin niya yan. Pwedeng hindi niya pansinin. But with the system, everybody is watching. All the commanders pertaining to that particular uh, concern. Thank you. Sir, so you're encouraging the public na mag-report ng 
GCQ violations dito sa system na to. Yes. Para makatulong yeah, sa Yeah, yeah, kasi uh, the, the police cannot guard all the corners and the streets in our locality. That is why we are asking uh, help and assistance from uh, LGUs to barangays. Pero kung meron talaga mga violation yan, instead na ite-text pa isa-isa sa kakilala mo. Hindi ba kasi nangyari ngayon? Ite-text mo sa kilala mo, yung kilala mo naman, ang posisyon niya, stop dito. So hahanap pa ng contact hanggang makarating kay commander. Di ba? Samantalang dito, diretso na. Pag-report dito, kumbaga, sumbong nyo, action ko, action ngayon ng PNP na mabilis na maaksyon nandun. Uh, well, Alfred, uh, makikita natin. Lahat tayo ay gustong uh, maging maayos ito at uh, yun din naman ang patutunguhan kung uh, uh, talagang tututukan natin at tatrabawin ito. So, eh, are there any other questions sa uh, in this topic? So, Sir si Verhil yes, Parba po ng Pantay News. General, good morning. Uh, Verhil Parba po from SMNI News. Um, sir, uh, after po ma-receive yung mga reports and then ma-verify na valid and then ma-actionan, so maganda po yun. How about naman po, ano naman po mga consequences na haharapin ng mga nagre-report na mga fake o yung gusto lang manggulo, kagaya yun po ng sinabi nyo kanina, yung gusto lang mambash. Yes, ano po yeah. yung mga, ano po? Talaga? Yeah, uh, that's what, ang maganda kasi dito, documented natin to. And we can always uh, ask the ACG uh, who can have access also on this uh, information system para mag-conduct na rin ang ating investigation. Di ba? Eh, hindi nila alam kung anong talent ang ating ACG. Pero dun sa mga kababayan natin na maglulukuhan, documented dyan, lagot kayo sa ACG natin. If you will commit violations dun sa ating anti-cybercrime law, sasampulan din natin kayo. So yun din maganda dito, di ba? Uh, so, tingnan natin, Mag magharap talaga tayo ng sample for those who will be violating anti-cybercrime law na gagamit ng sistema. Ang pinakamaganda dito, documented, marireceive na andyan. So, we have the basis to file cases against you kung meron kayong violation na ganun. So, ano yan? Uh, malinaw na humihi kami ng tulong pero kung abusuhin nyo kami, eh, gagawa din kami ng aksyon laban sa inyo legally. Sir, follow up lang po from Paul Montibon kasama ko po. Sino-sino uh, daw po yung mga katuwang natin dito, sir? Well, basically, ang katungin namin dito kayo, uh, the people who will be reporting to us legitimate and uh, valid concerns. At kami naman, lahat ng mga commanders in the ground na siya magsusupervise sa ating makasamahan para ma-address or uh, umakto doon sa mga concern ng ating mga kabayan. So, it is really between the public and, uh, and, and, the, and, and, the, and, the, and the police uh, on your legitimate concern. For all you know, what you're reporting actually are crimes happening in your area that we could uh, uh, solve because of the, uh, the timely report that you will be giving us. And another thing, kung halimbawa tayo reklamo ng police, eh di napakaganda dahil yun na magagamit natin sa internal cleansing on which the internal affairs service has access also. But sinasabi nga natin, ang mga reports are all subject to validation. We need evidence for us to you know, to, to file cases to anybody. Pero napakaganda na nakukuha ating informasyon and available sa ating mga commanders, lalo na itong mga uh, analytics and other information uh, for us. Thank you, Thank you. General. Maraming salamat, sir. Wala na po ba tayong katanungan tungkol sa isumbong? Okay. Salamat, sir. Uh, ang susunod pong magtatanong ay si Pat Manguni, sir, ng TV5. Please, Pat. Sir, other topic naman. Sir, baka meron na po ba tayong um, mas malinaw na detalye on the circumstances on what happened doon sa Fairview na magkasalubong okay. ulit ang PNP okay. day, yes, sir? Okay, ganito yun. Wala namang, anong nangyari doon is, ito ha, parang alam na lahat, anong nangyari doon is merong operation, both the PNP and PDA nagpakita sila doon. Uh, na kung hindi nagkaroon ng uh, pagkakilanlan, posible magresulta sa barilan. That is as simple as that. Pero walang na-violate doon silang uh, well, may na-crime na, na, na nangyari. Wala. So, ang pinag-usapan namin dito is, bakit naman nangyari na naman ito? Akala ko ba is after nung sa, sa, sa Commonwealth, is hindi naman nangyari at nag-usap tayo. So, yun ang naging challenge sa amin ni Director General Wilkins Villanueva. Kaya nung magkita kami, yun ang aming pinag-usapan. So, mas malinaw. Magtat maglalagay kami ng Unified Operational Guideline so that hindi naman ulit Baano ba nang mangyayari yan? Ang iiwasan lang namin is for the operatives of the PNP 
and of the, of the PIDEA to operate on, on one place on uh, one particular time. Alam niyo, walang pinakaiba yan sa vehicular accident eh, di ba? Yung collision. Kaya nagkakaroon ng collision because two vehicles are occupying the same space. So, ang gawin natin, dapat siguraduhin natin na yung mga operatiba ng PNP at, hindi, at oper, operatiba ng PIDEA eh hindi magpapangita kahit pa anong klaseng operation nila dyan. Yun na naman ang issue dun. That is why, uh, dun sa dating setup na when the police is coordinating with the PIDEA, kasi kailangan bago ka mag-operate, kailangan, in essence, may approval ka ng PIDEA kasi nagko-coordinate kami sa kanila eh. Sasabihin nila kung igogo niya o hindi. So, pag nag-coordinate doon, kung dati, like for example, let's focus on Quezon City. Quezon City is tapakalaki ng area. Ang dating coordination ginagawa, operation is Quezon City. So, napakalaki nun. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, sa napag-usapan namin initially, uh, we, since we have 16 police stations in QCPD, so your respective area nila ngayon, that will serve as their operation area. So, pag nag-coordinate si PNP kay PIDEA, uh, may operation po kami dito sa area called by Station 1. So, dun ka lang. Alam ni PIDEA ngayon. And PIDEA, commitment ni Wilkins, pag meron kayo operation dyan at at given time, hindi kami mag-ooperate dyan. Ngayon, kung meron namang operation ng PIDEA, eh di, it is a problem ni PIDEA or wag muna kayo mag-ooperate. Di ba? As simple as that. So, uh, well, for other places, like Manila, uh, probably we can adapt the same. If uh, in Quezon City, we have 16 police stations. In Manila, we have uh, 15 police stations. So, by area na rin. Paraan natin. So that, uh, hindi naman kasi pwede specific yung barangay kasi baka mamaya lilipat doon. So, kinakailangan talaga dalawang area. And nagkakaidibihan na tayo noon. Ang gagawin ng PIDEA, which is, meron naman silang ganun, lahat na nagko-coordinate, nakaplat yan. So, alam nila kung sino sa nag-ooperate yan at hindi sila mag-ooperate sa ganong panahon. So, well, other other things sa uh, pwede mapag-usapan internally regarding sa coordination para hindi napapanabay doon. Pero, bottom line, huwag lang magsabay na nakasay isang lugar yan, wala tayong problema. Hindi natin mauulit yan. So, that is as simple as that. But regarding kung meron mga violation, wala naman nangyari doon. Kasi, may parang operation eh. Nagkapanag po lang, nakita ang baril. Ayun nga, eh, di ba, dahil sa init ng dati sa Commonwealth, eh, kung sino mas marami, eh, siya may control doon sa isa. And it will take kasi your officers para malaman kung ano talaga nangyari. Ang gusto natin ipakita dito, kami ni Wilkins, he is my direct underclassman. In fact, personally, he is my poster brother when we were in the PMA. Gusto namin ipakita sa both agencies na kami nagkakasundo na lahat ng mga nangyayaring ganyan is pwedeng marisolba sa pag-uusap. Yun ang gusto namin ipakita. At gusto namin maramdaman din ng mga tao natin hanggang sa baba na ganun din dapat ang inyong relasyon. Na hindi dapat tayo papadala sa init ng ulo. Kasi alam nyo, sa isang sitwasyon, pag ikaw commander nito, syempre yung tao mo ang bibigyan mo ng unang konsiderasyon. Sa kabila, ganun din. Kaya nga yung pinag-uusapan doon kung ano nangyari. Sabi ko, pare-pareho tayong wala doon eh. Andun si district director, andun si yung uh, sa, sa PIDEA, andun yung station commander, andun ba kayo? Wala naman eh. Pare-pareho lang uh, yun accordingly ang sinabi ng mga tao natin. So, huwag na natin na yun. Importante, walang namatay at nagpapasalamat tayo sa Diyos. Pero in the first place, dapat hindi nangyari yung nagparag po doon. And, yun ang gusto natin na hindi na mangyari. And with this commitment of two agencies, hopefully, hindi na talaga mangyari yun. That's why the Director for, uh, Directorate for Operations of the PNP, as well as the uh, operation na uh, the, the counterpart in the PIDEA, mag-uusap sila to come up. For all you know, we have already uh, these uh, operational guidelines i-emerge sa lang yan para magkaroon ng uh, unified not only here in Quezon City, not only here in Metro Manila, but for the rest of the country on this coordination. Thank you. Sir, follow up lang. Pero sir, um, do we have, ano po ba nangyari? Uh, were they, it, both were doing legitimate by bus operations? Tama ba sir? Oh, Siyempre, uh, uh, by bus operation. Parang by bus operation pero nagkapanag po doon. Uh, meron kasi iba-ibang layer ng mga operation. Kaya nagkataon lang na hindi pa nakukonsumate yung isa, isa na mag-e-start pa lang, nagkapanag po na doon. So, basically, well, in my assessment, wala namang problema yon Kasi 
before the operation, maraming mga maraming mga strategy para gawin yan. But the uh, uh, so so ang naging issue lang kasi doon is parehong armed groups, PNP and PDEA na nagpanagpo doon at muntik lang magkaputukan. Buti na lang naagapan at nagkakilala sila. Pero sir, same target ba sila o magkaiba talagang? Well, well the same, I can say that uh, the same group, pero mga different personality yung kanila mga target. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng uh, nagparagpo sila doon. Uh, well, kagaya sinabi namin, we can, uh, uh, nung makita namin na hindi naman talaga ang problema is actually not an operation because uh, they have their own legitimate operations. So ang problema talaga bottom line is bakit kayo nagpanagpo dyan? Akala ba namin meron coordination? Well, PDEA, nag-coordinate sila specifically dun sa station na under dun, which is station na uh, station 16. Uh, yun namang nag-operate dun is from station 4. Dati kasi station 4, sakop niya yun eh. Ano eh, kapitbahay nila eh. Pero nag-coordinate din sila, kaya lang sinabi nila Quezon City. So, ito yung mga sinasabi natin na hindi dapat natin uh, ipagsasawalang bahala ito mga coordination na ginagawa. So, that serves as a lesson. Well, lesson na uh, uh, buti na lang hindi nagkaroon ng, uh, ng armed encounter. Uh, otherwise, sobrang uh, nakakalungkot yung pangyari. So, well, because of that, ni-review or lalo nating uh, it give us the resolve na talagang uh, uh, mag-coordinate ang maayos. And ako naman bilang uh, bagong chief PNP, kailangan mo talaga ang closer coordination with them. Dahil aside from our program of uh, uh, running after the high-value targets, it is our intention to go back to basics, which is the whole of the nation uh, of the community approach. Na in order for us to address this problem, ang kailangan natin dito is drug clearing operation. Police operation, arresting uh, suspects, or particularly the, the drug pusher, is just is one among the interventions, which is trabaho talaga namin yan, at napakahalaga yan, particularly the supply side. But on the other side of this, itong majority na apektado dyan, the victims are the drug dependents, which we need appropriate interventions. And actually, ito ngayon yung ating uh, facility or community or facility-based rehabilitation and eventual reintegration sa community nila. So kailangan natin dun yung house visitation eventually, which we have in clustering. Hindi natin i-discuss dito po yun, pero yun po yung ating approach dun. Hindi natin titigilan running after the high-value targets, but dun tayo ngayon to address the problem uh, for the purpose or objective of uh, barangay drug clearing operation. Salamat, uh, Patricia. Para sa susunod na katanungan, atin pong tatawagin si Ann Soberano ng uh, Bombo Radio. Ann, sir, good afternoon. Ann Soberano po of Bombo Radio Philippines. Sir, uh, tatanong ko lang din kasi nagpulong na kayo with PDEA at may guidelines na rin po. Sir, ano po ba ang garantiya na masusunod talaga itong guidelines na ito? At kung uh, may lalabag po sa nasabing guidelines, sir, may mapaparusahan po ba on both sides? Thank you. Well, pag, well kasi ito, mga specific guidelines na ilalabas natin eh. So kung hindi susunod yan, administratively, eh pwede talaga siguro ang bibigyan sila ng sanction. Uh, well, the guarantee is... Uh, we can always, what I can guarantee you is that we will do our best uh, through these guidelines, through this effective supervision, para hindi na mangyari yan. Pero yung totality na hindi mangyari yan, eh, well, that's another thing. But because of what has happened, sabi mo ka sa'yo, yung nangyaring pangalawa, ito talaga yung nagmulat sa atin na talagang bakit ba nangyari yan? Buti na lang, walang namatay. And uh, uh, we can say that uh, that is unfortunate event, but Siguro yun ang parang naging daan sa atin para mas, well, iklaro pa natin. Ibig sabihin, yung una natin, una natin na pag-usapan, eh hindi siya nakatulong para i-resolve o oh, hindi maulit yung nangyari sa Commonwealth. Kaya nga, ito ngayon, ina-address na natin specifically. Hindi ba sinasabi natin? Hindi dapat mag-operate yung operatiba uh, ng, P ng PNP at PDEA sa isang lugar sa parehong panahon o parehong oras. Sir, may, may intelligence report din po ba na ang PNP na possible po na may kinalaman ang mga sindikato, sir, na uh, drug syndicate dito, sir, sa muntika ng uh, labanan ng PNP well, and PDA? We cannot discount this, that possibility. But ang bottom line natin doon, kahit may ganun pa rin siyan, 
Babalik pa rin tayo doon sa ating premise. Hindi pa rin tayo pwede mag-operate ng parabay. Otherwise, mag-joint operation tayo. Di ba? So, ganun pa rin yun eh. That is always a possibility. And we are uh, trying to check on that, pati na rin ang PIDEA. Kaya kasi nasabi sa iba't ibang level yung uh, coordination, I mean, yung, uh, uh, yung trabaho doon. Hindi mo siya uh, nagparap po na diretso kagal. Parehong isang nag initiate ng trabaho ng bypass, yung siya naman, bypass na. So, nagkaparabay na ganun. So, bottom line, tama yun, pero still, hindi dapat sila yung dalawang tropa, dalawang grupo na naandun sa parehong oras. Or for that matter, sa parehong araw. Sir, on the other issue naman, sir, nag-ikot po kayo para magsagawa po ng mga surprise inspections. Na konti. Ay, sir, uh, nag-ikot po kayo at nagsagawa ng surprise inspection. Ano po ang naging assessment nyo, sir, sa yeah. mga surprise inspection nyo, General? Well, actually, I, I'm quite satisfied with the cleanliness of the uh, of the offices inside. Yun nakita ko. Doon sa limang nadaanan ko, uh, isang police station and uh, tatlong PCP or police community precinct and one compact or community uh, police assistance center, lahat malilinis sa loob. So talagang, uh, namonitor ko naman yun eh. Talagang naghilamo sila, nagpintura, naglilinis sa loob. Ang problema, most of them, in fact, four out of five, sa labas may mga upos na sigarilyo dun sa mga plant boxes. Hindi nila lang pagdating ko, yun ang unang tinitingnan ko. So ganyan din yung aking observation doon sa uh, mga police station when I was the regional director of NCRPO. So, eh well, madidissimulate na lahat yan. And uh, while it is true that all, all our commanders in the ground eh talaga naglinis na monitor ko pati sa probinsya eh. Pero yung labas dapat doon. Alam mo yan, isang linisan mo lang yan eh. Eh, i-check mo lang dyan yung mga, ang gaganda ng plant boxes nila. In fairness to them. Kaya lang, may nakaipit na, na balat ng candy, may upos na sigarilyo, merong uh, bote na, na basag. So, isang linis lang yan, and i-maintain na lang. Napakadali nun. Pero, well, may nakasabay ako, even yung isang sa traffic sector doon, na may ibang complainant, maganda talaga ang pakiramdam. Nakakatuwa. Uh, well, ako sa nag-inspection ako doon. Pero for the people and the public, to see na pagpunta mo doon, may problema ka lang ha, pagpunta mo doon eh, yung mga polis na hindi maayos mo ang pagsusunod nila pagkatapos, ang baho-baho pa doon. But this time, back to basic tayo. Kaya sinasabi ko, tayo, swerte tayo, aircon dito. Pero yung mga may, may concern, hindi man dito sa ating pupunta eh. Doon sa kanila. At yun ang ating pagagandahin para sa ating mga kababayan. Thank you. Last na lang po, sir. Sir, kamusta po ang uh, vaccination program po ng Philippine National Police? Sir, uh, may nabi nabigyan po ba kayo ng uh, mga vaccine from Pfizer, sir? Well, wala eh. Kasi, uh, sa ngayon kasi, still, hanggang A3 pa lang. So, we are waiting uh, for the deployment or for the A4 to be vaccinated. Pag A4 na kasi, pasok na ako, pasok na doon. At ako, pag A4 ay talagang mamumunan ako, kung si PNP, di ba? Eh, pasensyahan ako muna. Well, what I try to say is that kung A4, pero sa akin kasi hanggang A3 pa lang. Kaya kami, hindi kami dinagdagan. For the reason, naubos na sa amin yung A1, A1 only, A2 only, and A3 only. Ang natitila na lang is puro A4 na lang. So, maghihintay tayo and uh, we will wait our turn. And uh, we are hoping uh, with the trend of the arrival of vaccines, eh baka mamaya, eh di yung magagandang vaccine ko sa atin, di ba? So, I mean, lahat naman yan okay yan. Pero kung anong para sa atin, para sa atin. So, uh, we are just waiting, just like everybody else. Yung kasama namin sa A4, just like you. Uh, if you're, you don't belong to A1, A2, A3, so parating na yan at iintayin natin yun. Uh, by the way, uh, the, the, the LGU of Quezon City is coordinating with us. Kasi, uh, uh, They, they're requesting uh, for us through our uh, COVID shield actually kay Jel Bong Dixon na tumulong kami sa vaccination nila para sa kanilang residente. And that is our commitment. In fact, that is uh, uh, one of the instructions of the President for the uniform service personnel. Kami mga healthcare worker, may train naman kami na pwede mag-vaccine, vaccination team. We will, uh, we will have our vaccination team na hindi naman nagagamit sa ngayon na pumunta sa LGU, Quezon City lalo na, na andito tayo eh. Eh baka ang kapalit yan, bigyan pa kami pag, uh, uh, pag pwede ng A4, eh di mas maganda para sa ating kapulisan. So, uh, I, I, I've told the 
Jael Dixon to coordinate with the Director of uh, uh, Health Service. Go tayo doon. In fact, yun naman talaga ang guidance ng ating Presidente. For our personnel, tumulong sa kanila as vaccination team for the residents of Quezon City. Maraming salamat, Ann. Sir, ang uh, susunod pong magtatanong ay si Mark Makalalad ng uh, DZWB. Hi, Hi Mark. General. Good morning. Uh, last week, you ordered the uh, police commanders po no, na makipag-coordinate sa LJU para humanap ng mga detention area na may sapat na espasyo para sa mga mahuhuling quarantine violator. Uh, kamusta po ba yung uh, coordination nila ngayon sa LGU? Well, we have uh, 1,500 uh, uh, roughly na police stations, di ba? So, pinakubayan natin sa kanila yan to uh, supervise by their commanders na siguraduhin na kung manghuli sila nitong mga violators ng uh, health protocols, particularly non-wearing of face masks, eh, may paglalagyan. Pwede naman kasi sa police station nila kung wala man nakukulong doon. Pero ang reality, like here in Metro Manila, eh, talagang punong-puno na yan. So, talagang resort nila para sila pwede manghuli, which is may instruction na manghuli sila, coordinate with LGU and Barangay for the holding center. So, uh, yun yung instruction natin sa kanila. And I believe that uh, uh, since there's a beating that they are... Uh, uh, they were arresting violators, eh, dinadala nila doon. And I haven't received and haven't monitored complaint about that. Kasi kung meron yan, actually, no, pa isa-isa lang, di ba? Pinag-exercise, pinag-kumpul-kumpul, eh, napakabilis ng ating social media. So, meaning, nagko-comply sila. At malinaw ang direktiba ko sa kanila na, na nabangit ko na sa inyo lahat. Hindi dapat sila nag, uh, nagsiksikan dyan. It defeats the purpose. We will arrest them, nakos them, and pagsasabasamahin natin sila doon. It defeats the purpose, hinuli natin sila ng walang mask, and yet magaling doon wala pa rin mask. Kaya nga, bago kayo mag-operate, pag pinikap nyo yan, may face mask na kayo para ipasusot nyo agad sa kanila. And within 12 hours lang ang kanilang detention on this uh, holding area. So as we speak, uh, General, meron ng mga dadagdag na mga detention na area para may social distancing doon sa mga mahuli. Yes, ta tama yun. So, so, so bahala yung commander. So alam nila kung anong dapat gawin. Uh, I've given directives. At yun yung condition ko sa directive ko. They have to follow that. Thank, Thank you. you. Maraming salamat, Sir. Sir, akin muling tatawagin si Maris Umali ng JMA7 para sa kanyang ibang katanungan. Sir, I messaged you in your Viber. No? If you can just check it. Kasi my question is regarding that matter. Kasi di ba meron tayong policy na bawal muna ang mga uh, piesta. And uh, that post was posted yesterday sa Baklaran, Kapista ng Santa Rita. Tapos, hindi lang sila walang face mask as in dinidilaan pa ng mga bata, yung kapwa nila bata. I think there is a game or I don't know what they are actually doing in that particular uh, uh, event. Oh, Pero... Happy Piesta, Baklaran, di ba? Yes, sir. So, oh, to, to, ano po ba ang... Oh, well, unang-una, ah, yeah, tama yun. Kasi, una, kagaya nangyari sa Kaloocan, the concerned the commanders in the area, dapat na mamonitor nila yan. Sinabi nga natin na may limitasyon pag monitor sa lahat, pero through the reports of uh, uh, concerned citizens na maparating sa atin, so ito yung sinasabi natin na dapat ina-action na nagad, pinuputahan nagad. And, uh, well, as the situation dictates, Eh di yung appropriate action na gagawin, kung kayo may kailangang uh, i-accost dyan, uh, eh di arestuhin, at kung may kailangang file ng kaso, ganun din ang gagawin. Malino naman sinabi natin, kasi all of our policies, all, all of my directives are based on the ITF guideline. And uh, ipapacheck natin yan, and uh, tingnan natin kung, anong, kung may pakakulangan yung ating police, as well as the barangay concerned, and just like what happened in, the, in Kalaokan, we will see. Pero lahat will be afforded with, in, with, the, uh, uh, with the appropriate investigation. So, so sir, uh, upon seeing that, uh, ano po yung immediate action nyo? Will you have the commander uh, be investigated? Kung pinuntahan ba nila yan? Or hindi? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, sila tama yun. Tsaka As, yung mga involved dyan, kasi kitang-kita yung mga mukha. Mukhang they are minors. So, will, ano mangyayari sa, kanya, sa kanila? Will they be... Uh, asked for investigation? Ano ba? You know, 
uh, ito ha, just for example, in, in the Caloacan case, so example lang, kasi pinacheck ko kasi ano ba yung mga, ano yung provisions ng ordinansa in violation of mass gathering, for example. Kasi ito, mga ordinansa lang to eh. Ang first offense pala sila is reprimand only. Yung pangalawa, is saka na ngayon sila ifa-fine ng 5,000 or kulo ng 6 uh, months or, or both. So definitely yung una, kasi ito, wala naman itong arestuhan eh, di ba? So pag ilalagay mo, ilalapat mo ngayon, kaya kasi nasabi nga natin, eh huwag niyong aarestuhin yan kasi for all you know, yung, yung parusa dyan, eh mas matindi pa na inaresto mo o kinulong mo eh. Kasi sa atin, parang automatic, once inaresto mo, ikukulong mo. Regardless of kung ano magiging parusa niyan eventually. Hindi mo meron iba dyan, nakakulong, pero ang pa, nakulong, napakahaba, yung pala penalty lang niya, mas maikli doon. Ito worse ito, kasi a simple ordinance, kinulong mo. Eh yung pala ang, uh, ang, ang palang parusa sa kanya, reprimand lang, di ba? So, kaya nga, with all practicality, ang nangyari doon is, uh, hindi dapat kinukulong. In this particular case, sa ngayon dito, alamin natin ano ba yung provision dyan. We cannot arrest them anymore. Kasi for you to arrest somebody, eh dapat nagkukubit siya ng crime. That is warrantless arrest, di ba? Pag nangyari na yun, we can always file case against them based on the investigation. At tingnan natin, ipapail natin kaso, and then ang sanction is reprimand, something like that. So, may kasamang practical aspect dito pa rin. But, they, but we will see. We will check uh, based on the information that uh, you've given me, Maris. Kanina mo ba na-forward to? Kahapon pa. Ka kanina mo lang na-forward? Hindi ko nakita eh. Uh, I, I just forwarded okay, to you oh, now. Yeah. So nakita ko. So uh, we will have, uh, actually, the, I believe that uh, concerned commanders, Southern Police District and Pasay Chivo Police, uh, could be listening right now. At uh, I'm uh, giving you instruction to conduct investigation immediately uh, regarding this. And, uh, uh, well, do the appropriate action. Kung ano man yung appropriate action na dapat na gawin natin dito. Hindi, pero ano ang uh, bibigay niyong direktiba para hindi na maulit yan? Kasi despite all the calls, despite all the announcements of uh, uh, tightened, tightened uh, quarantine protocols, even if we're already in the GCQ, nangyayari pa rin well, yan. Well, so, and much worse, they're not just removing their masks. They're Nakita leaking niyo yung each nangyari, other. Diba? Talagang dinidilaan niya yung mukha ng mga kapwa, mga kabataan nila. So, talagang pasahan na ng laway. Ano yes. ba yun? Uh, Maristima, dito ba? Coming from you, di ba? Parang ano ba naman to? Parang hanggang ngayon ganyan pa, di ba? Kaya hindi mo sisi ating Pangulo eh. Nahulihin yan, pero hulihin humanely. Kasi nga, kung puro tayo patawad, eh lalong walang mangyari. Eh mayroon nang ganyan, may gumagawa pa rin. How much more kung hayaan na lang natin yan just because dapat na iniintindi natin sila. Iniintindi nga natin sila pero sobra-sobra na. So still, in a country na kagaya ng kalaki natin, with 100 million population, you cannot control the minds of each and every one of us. So, ganun talaga ang law enforcement. Tanggap natin yan. Dalawang function natin, una, crime prevention. In that case, dapat ma-prevent yung pangyari niyan by coordinating closely with concerned agencies that could help us. Magbantay, police visibility. But we have limitation. Kaya posible may mayingyari pa rin. At doon papasok kayon yung pangalawang faction na uh, crime solution. E di kasuhan, or hindi ba kasuhan, uh, well, well, tama, imbisigan siya. Otherwise, kung alam natin na pwedeng ma-prevent lahat yan, eh di isa lang function ng police, prevention lang. Pero we're investing also in crime solution dahil we know for a fact that even in the other places with the most modern uh, police force in the, in the world, eh talagang may nakakalusot na krimen. At yan isang classic example for the limitation o yung weaknesses natin na uh, we have to accept those things, minsan wala na tayong control. Kaya nga, yun papasok kayo, sinasabi na ating presidente, for those things na talagang hindi ba natin mabantayan, eh di hulihin na lang talaga yan. So, oh, well, uh, you should, yun ang gagawin natin. And klaro ang aking instruction ngayon na imbestigahan at gawin ng tamang aksyon uh, regarding that particular incident based on the investigation. Sorry, sir. Just a clarification. So, since nangyari na ito kahapon at tapos na, and I'm sure wala, wala na namang nangyayari ngayon, kailangan ba silang puntahan pa isa-isa yung mga makikita dyan? Or yung dun sa video na yon kasi recognize talaga yung mga mukha nila dyan eh. So, eh, yun nga eh. kailangan ba silang puntahan At after ba, investigation or paano At ba? Yun? Kasi nga, nasa kanila yon Ano ikaw tanong kita? Anong practical na dapat gawin dyan? Isa-isahan, kunin mo, lalo kay magkawahawa, and then makita mo, re-reprimand lang pala. Yun din, di ba? Well, alam mo kasi ito, ang ating law enforcement, may kasama rin ng mga 
Ah, ano yan eh? As long as you don't violate the protocols at batas, eh may mga flexibility at dapat practical tayo sa pag-approach niyan. Kaya pag ganyan sitwasyon, just because sabi na hulihin yan, ikuhuli, eh di, kausapin na lang yung barangay chairman dyan. And then sabihin yung neighborhood na wag na wag na makaulit yan. At sa mga gumawa ng mga yan, lalo mga minor, minor, hindi mo pwedeng kasuhan naman yung mga yan. Di ba? Eh, unang-una, hindi, hindi mo natin pwedeng, santa din natin yan, hanap pa tayo ng isang lugar, holding area. With all practicality, ang nakikita ko dito, and we leave this up to the unit commanders in the ground, eh, dapat pumunta dyan, kausapin, tapos bantayan na, para hindi na maulit. And then, uh, alamin kung ano ba yung mga piyesta ba sa ibang lugar. Malino ang direktiba natin eh. Sinabi ng Pangulo eh, wala yung mga piyesta-piyesta na yan eh. So, we hold uh, the unit commanders in the ground responsible. Mayo, ngayon, June, puro mga piyestahan yan. Alamin yung era nyo. Doon sa mga supervisor na unit commanders, like the district directors, ah, uh, Obserbahan nyo, you, you relieve your commanders in the ground. Kung nga hindi na sinusunod ito mga instruction na ito, ako, hindi na kailangan sa level ko pa mag-relieve dyan. Kung sa tigin ng regional director or district director or even the chief of police of Pasay na na-find out nila na kulang sa effort yung PCP commander dyan, i-relieve paltan. Ang pwedeng, daming pwedeng ipalit dyan. But of course, binibigyan natin sa kanila ang, ang ganyang responsibilidad at trabaho. I-assess nyo muna. Uh, uh, video process. Thank you, Maris. Th thank you, sir. Uh, ang susunod pong magtatarong, sir, ay si Burhil Parba ng uh, Sunshine News. General, uh, good morning po ulit, sir. Sir, sa nag uh, naging surprise ins uh, inspection niyo po sa mga police stations, ano po yung mga common na mga problema na na-encounter natin, sir? Well, uh, bumunta kasi ako doon, basically ang tinignan ko is uh, uh, forced cleanliness kasi yun ang aking unang direktiba. But I ask questions pa rin naman sa kanila kung ano mga concerns nila. Uh, well, basic, itong dagdag na uh, dagdag na kagabitan sa loob, which uh, uh, titingnan natin kung paano makonsider yun. And uh, dun sa kalinisan kasi, given naman na in Metro Manila, wala talaga tayo mga PCPs or compacts na we can say standard ng PNP ang pagkakagawa. May, may mga challenges dito eh, like napakamahal ng na mga lupa na yan. Bago tayo magpatayo at mapunduhan natin yan, coming from trust receipt or even from our uh, General Appropriations Act, kailangan na donated sa atin yung lupa. Pero hindi naman, uh, ma, kumbaga hindi, hindi, hindi yun ang uh, nakita natin pwedeng gawin ng LGU. Kaya nga, binibigyan ng space na lang, na kinoconvert na lang natin into uh, police station or PCP. Pero yun ang punta natin doon, kahit ba yan ay kahit ba yun luma, kahit maliit, pero kung malinis, yun naman ang concern natin. So, so sa akin, well, kanina nabanggit ko yung lapses na nakita natin, the common lapses o, na nakita natin is yung hindi naman kadubihan kasi nag-attempt naman maglilis. Kaya lang, alam mo ba yun, hindi talaga tinignan maigi kung talaga malinis siya. At kita ko uh, from an angle, yung mga kalat doon. Pero sa loob, wala tayong problema. So, with regard to, to mobility, they have all mobile cars kasi... NCRPO naman is talagang tinututukan natin yan. Plus, the fact that the LGUs here in Metro Manila, uh, well, of course, eh, medyo nakakangat dito compared sa probinsya, talaga nagbibigay sila ng suporta sa ating PNP. So basically, they can perform with their job uh, uh, given the resources that they have. What they have to do is just to, you know, to check on them and uh, kung meron concern is atin agad na uh, malaman. General, aside sa Metro Manila, may plano din po ba kayong bibisita sa mga provinces na mga police stations? Well, well, alam mo kasi, lahat dapat ng commanders is nag inspect Ako naman kasi, magandang alam nila na anytime, pwede ako mag-inspect. Pero hindi ko naman yun para puntahan sa JN para for those inspection. So probably, in my provincial visit, uh, to visit the uh, regional headquarters, or probably provincial headquarters, kung meron talagang lakad doon, so I can pass by the police station. Yun nga lang, eh, parang napakahirap na surprise pa, di ba? So, ang pinakatama dyan, lahat ng commanders sa ating mag-inspect, plus the internal affairs service na nabanggit ko sa'yo, sa inyo last time, na talaga nagkakandak na silang inspection. And they could recommend to me, uh, kung meron doon nakita doon na in spite na paulit-ulit na sinasabihan, nag-violate ng mga specific guidelines ko, particular on the cleanliness in the uh, offices. Thank you. Thank you po. Salamat, uh, Burhil. Okay na tayo? 
Sir, ang huling magtatanong po ay si Alfred uh, Dalison. Alfred? Thank you, sir. Sir, nung ikaw pang task force COVID uh, commander, uh, Say again, COVID shield? Uh, yung joint task force COVID shield, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. Merong incident, uh, one of our colleagues na kinukuha na niya ng video yung mga troops na sabi ng mga troops eh wala raw permit sa kanila kaya nagkaroon ng konting incident doon, minor lang naman uh, sabi nun ng dating chief, General Gamboa pag-aaralan daw yung, yung matter na yon na yung pwedeng kumuha ang public citizen ng video ng mga police na kung sakaling i sila sa traffic or what as part of the transparency. Pero sa ngayon, sir, wala pa tayong operational procedure about that. Uh, now well, that you are the chief BNP, ano ang stand mo dito, sir? Well, uh, unang-una, if you are just doing your job and part of your doing the job is reporting, and ayun isa siguro example, parang si Mark ang sinasabi mo, di ba? Uh, nung uh, insidente na yun. So, kinukover niya ngayon yung trabaho ng pulis na naandun naman sa kalsada at nagkakandap ng patrolya. So, sa kanya naman, bilang isang reporter, ay eh, talaga namang part yun na trabaho niya na kinukover din niya yun. So, walang problema doon actually. Pero alam mo ba yung sinasabi natin, which uh, uh, I know that uh, Mark uh, appreciated that also, na pwede naman kasi na magkaroon ng coordination prior to that. Wala naman maging problema yun. Di ba? So, as simple as that, just to give courtesy. Pero, even without doubt, pwede yun. Pero, uh, uh, bakit hindi natin gawin? Na pag na uh, kung lalo na sa ngayon that I, I've given a instruction to our unit commanders in the ground to accommodate our uh, friends from the media. Eh, kung legit naman yung uh, uh, kanilang pagkukover sa atin at tayo naman ay nagtatrabaho na maayos, I do believe that uh, kailangan natin ito para malaman ng ating mga kabayan yung trabahong ginagawa natin. Unless kung kalokohan ang ginagawa nyo, eh, talagang problema yun, di ba? Pero kung tama naman, mas lalong kailangan natin para maparating sa kanila yung effort natin. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand, sir. Sa part ng media yon. pero yung dun sa ordinary citizen, sir, yung, let's say, yung driver ng isang kotse na inaakos sa checkpoint, pwede ba nilang kuhanan ng video yung mga personal dun na kasi baka magalit, yung, kasi wala tayong policy pa sa ganun, sir. Well, well alam po kung titignan kasi natin, ha, uh, kasi may mga privacy law na tayo. Uh, walang, hindi bawal na kunin yun. But, uh, uh, ibang usapan naman yun kung gagamitin mo yun uh, without the consent of uh, the other party. So, well, we can leave this to that uh, point na uh, that is something na pwedeng, uh, pwedeng contest, di ba? Uh, yung situation na yun. So, pwede, video mo for your own good. Actually, sa totoo lang, pag may ganyan ka, eh, talagang tayo naman, parang body cam din yan, di ba? Na it will, you know, protect everybody because of that. Pero yung gamitin yun, it's another thing. That could be subject ka kung that could be advisable or not. Uh, chances are, it could not be advisable in the court of law. But for the purposes of uh, knowing what really happened, eh, ibang usapan naman yun. That would be considered or appreciated by the by the police or other agencies. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, sa mga kaibigan natin sa media na nakikilahok through Zoom, meron pong nagpadala ng kanyang katanungan, pero nata nasagot na po ninyo ito, sir. Uh, ganun pa man ay gusto kong uh, banggitin si Ray Raymond Dadpaas, sir, ng DCRH, dahil sa kanyang pakikilahok. Ang tanong niya ay, uh, after ng meeting ninyo with PIDEA, Paano maa-assure na hindi na mauulit ang mga supposedly ay mis-encounter between PNP members and PDEA sa campaign versus illegal drugs? Okay. Yun po ang kanyang katanungan. Nabang, sir. Katanong, nabangit ko na, di ba? Yes, What sir. we can assure you is uh, we will see to it na talaga nagko-coordinate na kami at yung pinag-usapan namin para maiwas sa mangyari. Pero yung mangyari pa yan, eh, well, that is always uh, 0.1%, 1%. Eh, pag nag-relax tayo, pwede mangyari yan. Pero we will assure you that we will do everything na hindi na mangyari yan with those guidelines na nilatag natin. Yes, so, well, uh, well, gusto kong ma-klaro na pa tayo about the, well, of course, yung ating GCQ ngayon, di ba? From the, from the MEC, uh, from ECQ to MECQ, 
and then nag-GCQ tayo kasi baka may mga clarification kayo tungkol doon dahil uh, gusto ko lang si Dagdag para maliwanagan at ito naman nabanggit ko na uh, kasi ang pinag-usapan is always APOR and non-APOR. There are two kinds of uh, APOR or category ng APOR. Yung first na APOR natin is yung workforce APOR. Ito yung mga workers or empleyado nitong mga uh, permitted industries in any given quarantine status. So, kayo yun, tayo yun, di ba? Provided, work-related, yung travel mo or presence mo sa labas. The other APOR is the uh, consumer APOR. Ito ngayon, yung allowed lumabas dahil they will avail or they will access goods and services provided or offered by these permitted industries. So, hindi ka worker, pero mamibili ka. So, yun ang isang uh, dapat na matandaan natin doon. Ngayon, ang iba't ibang quarantine status, may iba't ibang permitted industries. Maliwanag tayo, pag sa ECQ, only essential industries na nag-operate. Pero pag nag-MECQ na yan, ha? Uh, ito para maliwanag, sa MECQ, meron mga non-essential industries na permitted na mag-operate. Kaya lang, up to 50% lang ang kanilang uh, operational capacity. Pag binaba sa GCQ yan, yung mga, mga non-essential permitted industries na yan, permitted ha, up to 100% nagbabari siya. Tapos dito sa ECQ, dun sa mga MECQ, GCQ, sa MGCQ, may mga negative list yan. Kasi basically, basically leisure activities are not allowed. But pwedeng ibahin nyo ng, uh, ng ITF. Doon sa MECQ, 11 niyang listahan na yan, yung negative list. Pagdating sa GCQ, naging lima. Pagdating sa MGCQ, naging tatlo. What I'm trying to say is that, kasi nga lumuluhag. So ang pagbabago doon is, nababawasan yung bawal na leisure activities and then dumadami yung percentage ngayon nung inaalaw. Para hindi malito ang ating makababayan, ha? sa ating makababayan, huwag na natin intindihin yung mga percentage-percentage kasi mahirap pa i-memorize yan eh. Ang importante dyan is, pag lumabas kayo, ang pupuntahan nyo yung mga permitted industries and it is up to the establishment in the area kung paano niya i-enforce or i-implement yung mga restriction on the operational capacity. For example, sa mga restaurant. Sa restaurant, dahil modified tayo ngayon, uh, ginawang 20% lang yung dine-in at saka 50% sa labas. So huwag na natin intindihin kung ilang percentage yun. Basta pagpunta mo dun, at sa close na, ibig sabihin, na-reach nila yun. For simplicity. At sa ating pulis naman, eh, yun nga, yung mga permitted industries, whether essential or non-essential, pwedeng pumunta doon, pati yung mga uh, mag-a-avail na yun. Uh, well, in the case of GCQ, wala ng travel restriction within, bounder, within boundary ng mga nasa loob ng bubble area. Pero tatandaan natin, hindi kayo pwedeng lubas pa rin ng bubble area. Ibig sabihin, lalabas ng Laguna, lalabas ng Bulacan, lalabas ng Rizal, pupunta doon, dahil nakababol area tayo kahit nasa GCQ tayo. Unless ikaw ay APOR or workforce APOR. Pero kung ikaw ay consumer APOR, hindi ka rin pwedeng lubas pa rin doon. Well, uh, di-clarify lang natin yun, uh, pero siguro uh, uh, kung, kung eventually may mga katanungan about the mga example, actual situation, that could be better uh, illustrated and demonstrated. Thank you. So, sir, maraming salamat, sir. Uh, may, I, may we hear your last words po, sir? Uh, closing uh, So once again, uh, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa, sa pagkakataong ito sa ating mga members of the BIDIA. Uh, rest assured, rest assured just, uh, just like na pag-usapan natin, uh, we, will we will make ourselves available sa inyo sa mga itong pagkakataon. Uh, even though meron pa rin tayong uh, pandemic. And uh, para tinyo lang sa amin kung ano ibang mga concern nyo so that we could be of better service din sa inyo. Just like ang programa ng ating PNP, ang aming intention or objective is to be of better service para sa kanila. What we have learned today is a uh, very important, uh, 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 well, be be very, be very important aspect on the enforcement or our, or our intention to be more effective in the delivery of the services. And uh, kagaya ng sinasabi ko kanina, it needs the involvement and cooperation of everybody. At uh, through you na mag-disseminate nito and through you na mag-monitor din ito, inaasahan natin na 
Kung meron mang mga challenges tayong pagdadaanan dyan, may kaunting mga, mga dapat ma-improve, eh handa tayo doon. Just like what I've said, hindi ko sinasabi na ito isa perfecto, that, this will, that will solve our problem, but if we can, you know, get the uh, uh, advantage or good points on these projects, this is a welcome, uh, welcome opportunity for the PNP to be more effective uh, in our mandate. So with that, once again, in behalf of the whole PNP, maraming salamat sa inyo at uh, magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Muli, salamat po sa lahat.